production. Combat. Starring Vic Morrow. Jason. Co-starring Skip Holmeyer. so funny. You ought to see your face. Well, you ain't no raven beauty yourself. Billy, your dog tags taped? Yeah. And everybody, I want you to hear this. This mission has one purpose and one purpose only. It's to find prisoners and bring them back. Now, above all, we avoid a fight. You got it? That's sure fine with me, Sarge. Now, for the last time, does everybody know what this is all about? You mean the war, Sarge? He doesn't mean the war. I like a squad with a sense of humor. Hope you always last through the night. You all set, Sergeant? Ready. We're going to split up into groups. If each group brings in one prisoner, we've done a good night's work. S2 and the outposts have already been notified, so there'll be no re-entry problems. Now, the storm's blowing over. So the quieter you move, the longer you're going to live. We'll rendezvous at 0400 hours at the cemetery just outside the village and re-enter the lines together. Questions? I'll take Davis, Baker, and Brock Meyer with me. Good luck, Sergeant. All right. Let's move out, folks. What's all this creep and crawl, Sarge? Now, why don't we just go out there and grab ourselves a crowd, huh? Just like that, huh? Yeah. Kirby. Jump up and down. What? You heard me. I said jump up and down. He wants to see if anything rattles beside your head. <laughs> now you can do better than that. It's going to be cold out there, Sarge. I thought... Uh... The trouble with you is, Kirby, you don't think at all. It's going to be a long night. All right, let's go. Ich glaube nicht zu lange. Es denkst. Bist du jemals auf einer Streife gewesen? Hm. Nicht ein Tag und Tag Streife. Wird schon gut gehen. Vielen Dank. Uh, hier, Feldwebel, sind unsere Gegner. Die 361. Nicht nur die 361., auch andere Infanterieeinheiten sind in den letzten 48 Stunden in diesen Sektor eingedrungen. Verstärkung dieser Größe bedeuten, dass der Feind einen Angriff plant. Also lass uns alle aufbrechen, ne? Na, los! Also los! Behalt euch! Nicht zu lahm!
Yeah, so do I. Ich hasse diese Sachen. Ja, ich, ich mag sie auch nicht. Kirby. Yeah. I thought I saw something. Go on up ahead and take a look. much time. I'll take a look. Right. Hey, what'd I tell you, Sarge? Easy as falling off a log. Where'd you find him? Under a rock. Him and two others was laying wire. They got killed. How do you know that? He told me. He told you? Yeah. Does he speak English? Speaks better English than Cage. <laughs> Looks like a lucky night, Sergeant. Yeah. Well, let's go home. We're on the same side. Drop your rifle. You heard me. What are you doing out here? Well, my squad was on recon. I got separated. Who are you? Grants, Joseph B. 04... You an officer? Lieutenant. I'm Saunders. What are your orders, Sergeant? Well, we were sent out to bring in a prisoner. Looks like I owe you one. Mind if I come along? Well, I'm not a guy to stand on ceremony. I'll just be part of the patrol. You got your orders, it's your assignment. I'll do whatever you say. Well, look, Lieutenant. Uh... Maybe you didn't hear me, Sergeant. I said I don't stand on ceremony. Most fighting soldiers don't. Now, you want to call me something, you call me Kranz or Joe or just Hey. Because you call me Lieutenant and the crowd hears it and I'm the first one popped. You call me Sir, the same thing happens. Out here, rank doesn't mean a thing. No, sir. You want to come along, it's all right. I want to go along, Sergeant. Let's go. These woods were full of krauts. All that. Too many of them. Not almost two hours. It's gonna take us that long to get back. Back? You mean back? You're not giving up? They're moving pretty close to their lines. We don't want to go to Berlin just for a prisoner. Close to their lines, our chances of finding them are better. And riskier. Well, I'll tell you something. Everything in life is a risk, and that starts with getting born. I want you to take this personally, but a patrol like this gives guys who don't want to fight a pretty good chance to goof off. I mean, they go to sleep somewhere for six or seven hours, somewhere nice and safe, and then they go in. 
You got a good gang here, they move good. Not afraid to be in a crowded neighborhood. They'll do what they came here for if you let them. We'll stay out another half hour and then we're moving back. Without a prisoner? With or without. All right, I said you were in command and I'd take orders like the others, but I've got to understand those orders first. And what you just said, I don't understand. We've been told to avoid a fight and I do as I'm told. You go with a book, don't you, Sergeant? I'm alive. Let's go. Where's Quince? Well, I thought he was with you. Well, maybe things got too rough for him. Maybe he talks a better war than he fights. Yeah, maybe he just got lost. He knows his sector. His company held it till a couple of days ago. I think he's out there because he wants to be. Well, you gotta wait for him. You can't just... Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait just ten minutes. And we head back. Every minute we stay here makes it easier for the Germans to find us. Uh, old Sarge sure don't cut that lieutenant, does he? Uh, can you blame him? We're sing around here like pigeons. Krantz is okay. It's just that when some guys lose their place in the chain of command, they drift off and drown. Are you talking about the sergeant? Well, Sarge's been giving orders to an officer. Maybe it's getting him down. Maybe the lieutenant's making him lose confidence in himself. It's like a team having a coach. The coach never saying nothing, just, just all the time watching, watching for mistakes. It's enough to make anybody jumpy. Look, Kirby, there isn't a better squad leader than the sergeant. You know it. And he just never should have taken that lieutenant along. That's all I gotta say. We have to be heading back. It's getting light. That lieutenant wants to come along. He'll just have to find us. Well, that won't be very hard. I heard you guys 50 yards away. You better keep your voices down if you want to stay alive. You could have got yourself killed just now. I told you to stay with this patrol. There you go with those regulations again. You said you'd follow my orders. Now, if you want to pull rank on me, you just have to wait till we get back. Oh, we're not getting back. Not now. We're cut off just over that rise of patrol twice our size. Of course, they don't know we're here yet. We could come up on their blind side. If we start firing now, we're going to have more company than we can handle. What's the matter, Sergeant? Are you afraid of a fight? We'll find a place to hide. Then we'll make our way back tonight. I know a place, Sergeant. Follow me.
the others. said I got separated. I left them, I went ahead to scout, and when I got back, they were gone. Well, maybe they're still up there. I'll go on up and take a look. Sergeant, wouldn't do any good. We were more than a mile from here when we lost each other. I'll make you guys some coffee. Little John. Yeah? You and Billy get back up there, take the first guard. Kirby? Yeah? You and Cage go on up above, take a look through those tunnels. They do just what you tell them. That was the trouble with my outfit. They didn't do like I said. So now they're cut off five miles from their own lines and country crawling with krauts. How come you went ahead to scout, Lieutenant? Why don't you send one of your men? I'm good in the dark, Sergeant. And you lost your command. They didn't do like I said. Didn't do like I said. strange ball for you. That's no way to talk about an officer, Billy. Didn't they teach you any military courtesy? Yeah, but there's something funny about him. If you want to know the truth, I don't think he is an officer at all. You don't? Nope. How come? Well, you take you, for instance. Me? Yeah, no. If I didn't know you and you come up to me and said, I'm a buck private, I'd believe you. You would? Yeah. How come? You look like a private. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you know the way you stand, kind of all slumped over and, and, and with your uniform hanging. You... you calling me a slob? No, all I'm saying is that if you came up to me and said you were an officer, I'd know you weren't. The same as you would me. Now watch, I'll prove it. <clears throat> my name's Nelson, Lieutenant Nelson. I don't believe you. Yeah, you see what I mean? And that goes for that fella Krantz in there, too. You mark my words, little John. If he is an officer, I am a chicken colonel. Ah. 
Hey, I thought that... I know. You thought Sergeant wiped me out back there, didn't you? I kept a kicker. <laughs> you gotta get up pretty early in the morning to get the jump on old Kirby. Yeah, but if the sergeant catches you... It'll never hold up in a court-martial. Look, if the Army expects me to crawl around these dirty, damp caves, the least they can do is turn their back if I want to use a little alcohol for medicinal purposes. Fella, well, could you catch a death cold place like this? I'm snort. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. No, I just oh, want Look, Cajun ain't like we're drinking on duty. You see that light up there? Yeah, so what? All right, we were on night patrol, right? Have a snort. Uh-uh, thanks. Suit yourself. You know, Kirby, you know that fellow Kranz down there? What about it? He reminds me a lot of you, Kirby. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Look, here we are in this hole. Crowds all around. And there you sit with a ball in your hands. Are you saying I ain't a good soldier? Drink that and you won't be. You've been busy, haven't you, Lieutenant? You figure there's going to be a run on souvenirs after the war's over? This war isn't going to be over for a long time, Sergeant. Is that what you want? <laughs> Why do you say a fool thing like that? You know, this pile of guns, those helmets, and that scarecrow in there with a German uniform on it. Well, a man gets kind of lonely being cut off out here. you got to have something to do to pass the time. Like killing? That's what it comes down to, isn't it, Sergeant? Something can happen to a man if he doesn't understand why he's here. You gotta have a point of view about fighting. Once you got a point of view, you gotta stay to mind. You live and the other guy dies. You take this war kind of personal, don't you? You'd be surprised how many guys get killed who don't. Uh, you said you were a cutter from your patrol. That's right. When? When? I mean, tonight, uh... A week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago? When? Strange how you lose track of time. <laughs> what outfit were you in? What? I said, what outfit were you in? Uh, the, the 422nd. Lieutenant, they pulled out of this sector two weeks ago. What is this, Sergeant? The third degree? You're fighting this war with a broken beer bottle, Lieutenant. You keep it up and you're going to end up wrapped in chicken wise, staring out a window, being spoon fed. Not a chance. Nothing, sir. Hey, Sarge. What do you make of those? Smith, Oliver. R. Turner, Paul D. How is our Robert D? Kane, Tom G. Give me I think I'll uh, check around and see if there's a back door to this place, just in case. Kirby, go. Keep an eye on him. Sergeant tell you to follow me? Oh, uh, no, no, I thought uh, you might need some help. What's up that way? It's a dead end. Oh, boy, I feel 
That's good. Yeah. And now it does, but uh, don't be surprised if a couple of days from now your toes fall off. <laughs> Catch me putting a foot in there. You don't know what kind of underground minerals might be floating around that stuff. Trouble with you, Kirby, is you worry too much. Who knows? I may have found the fountain of youth. So you have young feet. What do you make of him, Sarge? I don't know. I say we ought to get out of this place. I'd rather run through the German lines in daylight than be caught down here. The crowds come through that door up there. They got us cold, you know that. Sitting around your own grave waiting for somebody to come throw dirt on your face. Yeah. Hey, what time is it? Almost 700. What time's that? Seven o'clock. What if the lieutenant's still waiting for us? First flight, he'd pull on back. Whew. Hope he had better luck than we did. Sergeant. Shame I had to knock off that crowd prisoner of yours. You guys could all be home in bed by now. But, uh... Don't feel too bad, because a prisoner taken on the way in can be just as good as one taken on the way out. And come dark, I'll get you another one. Kirby, you come with me. Where are you going? Just gonna take a little walk. We'll see you don't get lost. The sergeant's gonna keep us up here all day. Looks like. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Creeps? Yeah, just look at it. What's wrong with it? Well, it's so weird. We had a cave back home. It was full of bats. Bats? Those things that hang upside down. We, you don't suppose there's, there's any around here, do you? There's a way to find out. What's that? Take off your hat. My hat? Yeah, bats like to swoop down and get in your hair. They do? Fella back home got a bat in his beard. Took two barbers and a game ward to get it out. You're kidding. You think so? Take off your hat. Lieutenant Joseph Krantz. Stop. 
stop talking, Krantz, or whatever your name is. Now look, Sergeant, I don't want to have to pull a rank on you. There are nine dead men lying in that tunnel back there. You know you can get about five years in a stockade for going against an officer. And one of them is the officer you claim to be. That's a lie. I just cut that dog tag off him. Now you look at it. I said look at it. We never should have come in here. I tried to tell the lieutenant, but he wouldn't listen to me. Nobody ever listens to me. We were out after some prisoners, just like tonight. Germans jumped us, about 20 of them. We came in here to hide. They caught us back in that tunnel. We didn't have a chance. I was the only one that got away. When it was over, I came back, and I've been here ever since. You get back to the lines, you tell them that Joe Kranz is still here fighting. Getting even for those boys. You tell them that. Why don't you go back and tell them? I can't. Why? You trying to trap me, Sergeant? Don't you think I know when somebody's trying to trap me? How come you were the only one that got away, huh? Because I'm smart. Because I know how to take care of myself. If nobody wants you, you learn how to take care of yourself. That lieutenant, he should have listened to me. They'd all be alive if he listened to me, but oh no, he had to make a stand, get himself killed, everybody else. Everybody but you. Why? I'll go up and take over the guard. You didn't answer my question. Don't push me, Sergeant. Why, what are you gonna do? You're gonna kill me, huh? You gonna take my dog tags? You think that's what happened? Didn't it? No. Then why aren't you lying back there in that tunnel with the others? Because I ran. I turned my back on those boys and I ran. If you're not Joe Krantz, who are you? I don't know, Sergeant. Dear God, I don't know. Sergeant! Crouch! Get down here! Kirby, put out that fire. Come on. They spotted the entrance. Sie bleiben zur Deckung. Zwei durch die Höhle und die zwei Nächsten gehen durch den Gang.
You said you ran. You said you were cut off in here and you ran. How did you get out of here? Back entrance. There's a back entrance. Where? Down this tunnel, around that bend. Hey, Sarge! We better get out of here. They have a flamethrower. Come on, let's get out of here! Sergeant, those men out there, you say they were dead when you found them? Yes, yeah, sir. They were, they were all dead. Not much to show for ten men, is it? No, sir. Saunders, don't feel too bad about it. I mean, about not bringing in a prisoner last night. Come dark, they're going to let us go out and try again. We keep the same plan. Break up the two groups. I'll take Davis, Baker, and Brockmeyer with me. Rendezvous at 0400 hours. Questions? No, sir. I'll see you in the cemetery. Yes, sir. This is Lieutenant Hanley, 2nd Platoon K Company. You wanted the names of those men from the 422nd. Kane, Thomas C. Powers, Robert D. Kranz, Joseph B. Pope, John J. Smith, Orville R. Fellows, Stephen S. Turner, Paul D. 